Shalom, this is Todd Shoprite and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining. Today, I wanna to teach you how to put together a homemade water filterization. Um, many people out there have, are, are turning to filtering their water to have the purest water free from chlorine, fluorides, and parasites. And I wanna teach you how to put together a homemade water filterization. What you're gonna need is two five gallon buckets, two um, water filters, a spigot, and two lids to complete this project. And in order to drill the holes, we have to do a five eight inch hole for the spigot and the lid that you'll drill to put the two filters on, you want to drill a three eight inch hole now some people don't have uh, those tools to do it, so what I have here is I have a file and a, a file where you can go right through the hole and I have a rechargeable drill. And these are um, two five gallon buckets I bought at Lowe's. They are very inexpensive and it had the lids that came with them. One thing I like about these five gallon buckets is that they're made in the USA. And as you can see, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have your spigot here on the bottom and you're gonna drill right down in there to put the filters in and then the lid that will go on top. The next thing that you wanna do is when you buy the filters, I bought the filters on amazon.com, they were very affordable, is I took a, a pan where you roast a turkey, I don't know if you can see that, and I filled it with water. And what the instructions said to do is to take the filters and soak them in the water for 30 minutes, and that's what I'm doing right now, and it's now past 30 minutes, so I can now take them out. You wanna, you wanna flush the filters first before you install them. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I don't know if you can see that, that's the hole that I put right there. I measured it and the hole is gonna measure out five eighths inches. And this is where I'm going to put the spigot in. As you can see, you wanna get it down there as low as you can when you go to get the water out. And this is what I wanna do, is I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna drill this. And there's the hole. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my file and I'm gonna file all around this so I can get this spigot to go in. See, and there's my um, 5 eighths hole. Here's the file. I'm just gonna go right around that to make that hole bigger. And now we're gonna take this spigot and we're gonna it should get in there nice and snug and we're going to screw right in like that. Okay, now as you can see, I got my spigot in and that's what we're going to use to get the purified water out. This bucket's going to be the purified water and here's the inside of it where I um, did the work. Here's the nut and the bolt, if you can, hopefully you can see it, where I drilled it and then I put a washer in between there, a rubber washer, and then I put a, a rubber washer right here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lid, I'm gonna fit it on, and then this bucket, I'm gonna take the lid off, it's gonna go up here on top of that so that the filterization 
is gonna, it's gonna look like that. And what I wanna do, the next thing I wanna do is I want to drill a 3 8 inch hole on the lid so that I can take my filters and fit them on there. And there's my drill. And since I don't have the tool to do it, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way and then use my file. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a 3 8 inch hole into the top bucket and right into the lid so that we can get the filter in. So here we go. And then I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, here's the two holes that I drilled. I wanna show you that's the inside of the bucket. And those two holes that I drilled goes right through these two holes. That's gonna go on top of this bucket. So it'll look like this. So the water will be poured in this bucket and it'll be purified through this part of the bucket. And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the filters in. Okay, I drilled the holes and I put the filters in. Here's, I don't know if you can see it. Here's the screws that I put in where the water is gonna drip and See that? Here's the, the filters that I put in the bucket. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit that right in there and we're gonna pour water in there and do a test run. Okay, now that we got everything together, we're gonna start pouring the water into the top bucket where the filters are at. And then the water is going to drip through these holes to purify it into this part of the bucket. Let's take the process and let's start. All right, here we are. I got the water filled all the way to the top. As you can see, five gallons of water in that puppy. And we're gonna wait for it to filter to the bottom part and get some purified water. All right, here we have the final product that I have completed. And now we're gonna test it out and see if she works. Let's give her a shot. Ah, refreshing. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Whenever you have a chance, please click the like button below and, or subscribe. Please pray for me to continue to do future messages and even to teach on survival techniques that can help believers out. Whenever you're going through troubles, whenever you're going through sorrow, whenever you're going through suffering, don't let anybody tell you it can't be done. If you can learn to do this, you will not only be able to bless your family, but you can be a blessing to others to teach them how to put this together. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, blow the trumpet in Zion. Thank you for joining me. Okay, here's my final sketch I did of the final project. 
And what I want you to look at is the cost. If I can just zero in on that. I had uh, two five gallon buckets, cost $7.56. Two lids for $3.96. I bought two spigots for $8.75 on Amazon. I only needed two. And I got two filters on Amazon for $42, which the total came out to $63. Now I went on um, Google.com to look at the price of a brand new water filterization, and they usually come in the metal type. And for a brand new one, just for the two gallon, it cost $300. And you minus 300 to 63, that's a $236 savings. And I'm just here to tell you, if I can do it, you can do it.